Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Details, the series where we take a look at some of the cooler things you may not have noticed in your favourite games. In today's episode, we test nerve gas on zombies in World War Z, we discover some fishy goings on in Hitman 2, and we follow the rules of the road in Saints Row the Third Remastered. As always, if you think you know of a detail that I'm yet to cover, then the best place to let me know is in the comments section or on my social media accounts. The link to which are in the description. Oh, and if you are enjoying this series, then a like is really appreciated. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So first up, let's take a look at a detail we covered in a previous episode of this series. In episode 10, we witnessed a man buy a new gun in Red Dead Redemption 2. Well, in that video, we didn't actually follow the poor guy to see where he went. Well, it turns out if you do follow him, he goes here. Okay, so when he gets to the doctors, he seems to make a swift recovery, but it is really cool that he actually goes to the doctors anyway. Up next is Hitman 2, a game that has become somewhat of a regular in this series. So far, we've seen that Agent 47's weight is 47, and we've also had some fun with a garden rake. The first detail in today's video can be found on the Ark Society mission and requires you to follow the Last Honours mission story. If done correctly, you'll end up in an open coffin where various people will come and pay their respects, including this woman. Capable of a thing like that. Wow, so fierce looking even in death. It's good. That mortician is a genius. I totally believe that you once wrestled a brown bear to a tie. Anyway. Godspeed, Mr. Janus. Sorry, I never knew you. Well, if you go out of your way to take the fish from the kitchen with you and have it in your inventory when you get into the coffin, the woman will say this instead. I totally believe that you once wrestled a brown bear to a tie. Anyway, Godspeed, Mr. Janus. Sorry, I never knew you. <laughs> Oof. Why does that smell of fish? So the NPC will actually recognise the fact that 47 has a dead fish stashed on him, which is really cool. The next detail from Hitman 2 is actually a nod to a previous game in the Hitman series. On the bank level, if you head to the IT room and open the vent near the server door, there is a chance that Diana will say this. I know what you're thinking, 47. <laughs> you won't fit. So that was a reference to the fact that Agent 47 spent a lot of his time in air vents in the divisive Hitman Absolution. Oh, and I should say, Diana only said this line once in well over 40 attempts, so it seems to be a pretty rare piece of dialogue. Up next is a pretty gruesome detail from the ultra-violent Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami is a game where it's not uncommon to see the blood or brains of your enemies splattered across the floor, but this next clip goes one step further. If you kill an enemy with a blunt object, there's a chance that this will happen. Yeah, enemies will sometimes wee themselves. Moving swiftly on. Right, it's time to take a look at a couple of cool finds in SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Battle for Bikini Bottom is actually a really good game, and I never played the original, so there's no nostalgia here. It's your typical 3D platformer collectathon, but sometimes it's nice to just sit back, relax, and collect some golden spatulas. The first detail of note in Battle for Bikini Bottom is actually one of the idle animations in the game. The 
So that animation is of course a reference to the famous pose that has been turned into countless memes over the past eight years. The pose was originally seen in the episode Little Yellow Book, which first aired in 2012. The next detail from SpongeBob could probably be considered an Easter egg, but I've chosen to include it here because why not? In downtown Bikini Bottom, you can find a message from the dev team. Up next is a detail that has been suggested so many times in the comments of previous episodes that I thought it was about time that I covered it. In Saints Row the Third, if you have a destination set in your GPS, this will happen. So the indicators will signal as you approach a turn. To be fair, it is a really cool detail, so I can understand why you guys kept suggesting it. Okay, it's time to look at another pretty horrible detail now, this time from Fahrenheit, otherwise known as Indigo Prophecy in the US. Fahrenheit is a game from David Cage, the same guy behind Heavy Rain and Detroit Become Human, and in typical David Cage fashion, Fahrenheit is a pretty strange game, and the detail we're showing from the game is no different. That should help my migraine. Notice reads, don't take with alcohol. And that's the end of my story. Mixed alcohol and medication, and I lost consciousness. Suicide or accident, what's the difference? I'll never know what happened to me in that diner on a cold winter's night, because in the eyes of the world, I was just a murderer. So taking the pills from your bedside table and drinking the alcohol found in the kitchen will kill Lucas, ending the game. Yeah, this one's pretty dark. Up next is the underrated World War Z game. It's a surprisingly fun zombie shooter that seems to have gathered a pretty dedicated fan base since its release in 2019. The detail of interest from World War Z is actually really cool. During the Moscow chapter of the game, you have the chance to test some nerve gas on a group of zombies, with predictable results. Well, later on in the same chapter, you once again have the opportunity to gas more zombies, though things don't go as planned. Somebody activate the vents! So because these zombies were wearing hazmat suits, the gas doesn't affect them. I mean, it makes sense, but it's a detail that could have been easily overlooked. So to end today's video, let's take a look at a game that may have its critics, but you cannot argue with the effort put into building its world. The Last of Us Part 2 is, in my opinion, an excellent game. Is it as good as the first? Probably not, but it's still a game that I think everyone with a PS4 should experience at least once. Of course, in true Naughty Dog fashion, the world of The Last of Us 2 is packed with details to make that world feel alive. One example of this can be seen when shooting a dog's owner. Something wrong, boy? So the dog will mourn its owner, even nudging at their lifeless body to try and wake them up, which is incredibly sad. The next detail from The Last of Us 2 is actually a pretty handy tip if you're ever caught in a tight spot. Clickers are a deadly enemy in The Last of Us series, and are often a one-hit kill on most difficulties. Well, if you happen to have a runner in your grasp when attacked by a clicker, this will happen. <laughs> Watch out. 
so the Cricker will eat his runner buddy instead of you. As I said, this could prove to be pretty useful in a pinch. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then a like is really appreciated. If you're a fan of Easter eggs and secrets in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. If you want to support the channel further, as well as see your name in the credits and get access to videos early, then check the links to my Patreon in the description or become a YouTube member by clicking the join button. A big thank you to the following patrons and YouTube members, Claire Lawrence, Funky Guy, Old Gen Gamer, Nicholas J, Tremure, DJX Gaming, Kevin Hummett, and Taco622. Thank you all for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.